Hello everyone and welcome back to Varal Manda. So guys in today's video I am going to install Pixel Experience on official Android 10 stable ROM for Realme 3 Pro. Yes guys this ROM is stable. So let's quickly install it and then we will talk about the features and experience of Pixel Experience. So guys first of all reboot into the recovery and create a backup then go to wipe and wipe everything except vendor and internal storage. Click on install and then search for the Pixel Experience zip file. So I put it here. Pixel Experience RMX1851 zip file. You can flash it normally. Just click on install, select the file and flash. And then it will take about two minutes to completely install this uh, system zip file. So let it install completely. Guys, after flashing the zip file, you can wipe cache and Dalvik cache. Swipe to wipe. Go back and if you want to install the Majisk or if you want to root your ROM, then just reboot to the recovery once. Click on install and then search for the Majisk zip file. Majisk version 20.1 zip and then swipe to install it so we have flashed pixel experience 10 rom we have flashed merges now we can reboot so guys uh, before rebooting just wipe cache and dial back cache once again so let the merges install first ok now wipe cache and dial back cache once again go back and reboot to the system guys the very first boot will take about 3 minutes so do not interrupt the boot process and keep it rebooting so uh, the boot process is completed here now the setup is here just complete the setup and in this one we can also add the fingerprint because this room is stable so everything is working here fingerprint also so you can also register your fingerprint so guys uh, the fingerprint is registered here successfully and the setup is going to complete very soon uh, just wait a second and then boom we are on the home screen so guys we have completed the setup we have flashed pixel experience android 10 stable room for realme 3 pro right now we are only having unofficial custom room support but i think in january 2020 when we receive color os 7 update uh, there will be uh, official custom development so let's hope so guys now it's the time to review pixel experience 10 unofficial stable room for realme 3 pro let's start by moving to the settings and you can see in about phone there is a uh, written realme 3 pro the android version is 10 q you can see the easter egg here and the android security patch level is of 5 december 2019 guys first of all i cannot say anything about the battery life because i've just installed this room and i'm making the video on the go but i can see that it only took one percent battery in four minutes so guys we are in display settings now and night light is working here we can turn on and turn off night light anytime it is working you can also enable the adaptive brightness so brightness will set automatically according to the daylight or night light guys the only customization option in this room is the styles so we can go to display settings and there we will find some option like style and we can style our theme and we can customize a little bit of system from here like we can change system icons from here like wi-fi bluetooth etc and we can also change the fonts and we can also change the accent color of the icons or whole system like headings etc apart from color accent we can change the shape of the icons like round rectangular or rectangular or circular many options are available there and we can create our custom style from here we can also enable the dark theme guys so this dark theme works system wide so let me enable it okay so supported apps will be uh, turned into the dark so yes dark mode is working system wide here and guys we can change the color options from boosted saturated adaptive and natural and guys uh, we can change the display size and the font size by sliding this slider we can change the font size and from here uh, from display size we can change the size of the display also big small whatever default in lock settings there are uh, very few options like lock screen text lock screen message and hide notifications on the lock screen and lockdown option on lock screen so so guys there is very few customization available in this room but guys this is pixel experience and it is known for its simplicity so guys this room is best for those who like to experience the stock google roams to experience the stock android and guys uh, we can enable the screen saver here but there is no option for ambient display or always on display so guys that was all in the display settings and guys in the sound settings you can see some pixel stuff pixel sounds ui not notification sounds and guys as this is a stable room we can see fingerprint option in the security and lock screen you can add your desired password and passcode to unlock your device and you can also set your fingerprint to unlock your device using a fingerprint sensor but guys there is no face lock option available in the smart lock because it is disabled by default in android 10 guys in digital well-being you can track down your usage what you are using most and you can track every app usage by its time and guys in system settings you can see options like gestures and in gestures you can enable jump to camera by double pressing the power button quickly and and you can uh, set system navigation in two buttons three buttons or full gesture navigation like android 10 
and this is two button navigation there is three button navigation in which you will get back button home button and recent buttons this android 10 gestures are pretty cool you can use this bar button at the bottom of the screen to control your full device and if you want to go back to the page just swipe left or right from the edges of the screen okay guys now it's a time to check the connectivity options like bluetooth wi-fi data and voltage guys data is already working i set up my device using the data of my idea sim and guys there is an option for voltage but i cannot see any voltage icon on the top of the status bar so to check voltage i have to dial a number using my voltage sim so i will do it later for that let me check my other options like wi-fi so guys as you can see wi-fi is uh, open and as you can see the Wi-Fi is available GeoFi 3 so Wi-Fi is working here and guys uh, hotspot is also working here let me enable it and there is no hotspot error issue you can see hotspot icon is also available in the status bar now let us check Bluetooth so for Bluetooth let's go back and go to connected devices and pair new device so guys uh, yes as you can see Bluetooth is enabled there is no bluetooth issue also guys i'm not having my bluetooth headphone near me so i cannot connect to the headphone right now so i cannot see the output but i'm pretty sure that output is also working so now let's check the voltage so for voltage i have to dial a number using my voltage sim card so there is no voltage indication on the status bar so let me dial a number using the dialer so you'll find all of the google apps in this room because this is a pixel experience room so let me dial 198 through my geo sim and this geo sim card only supports voltage calling so uh, let us check so guys call is connected Volti is working but there is no indication on the status bar so don't worry about Volti Volti is also working in this room so this room is completely stable in in case of connectivity so guys let us once again check the speed of fingerprint so guys fingerprint on this room is uh, not too quick but it is pretty fast don't expect the fingerprint speed like color os because color os is having the faster fingerprint unlocks but thanks to summer for uh, providing us this room with super stability so guys uh, at least we are having fingerprint voltage and everything working on android 10 so thanks summer once again everyone say thanks to summer so guys in the last let us check if there is bloatware on this room or not so guys there is no bloatware on this room only useful apps are included in the system and you will get old version of snapdragon camera with this room if you want you can install gcam on this one also guys apps like clock calculator contacts messages are from google because this is a pixel experience room everything will be from google and guys you will also get the latest version of google sound recorder with this room which supports uh, speech to text and voice to text transcription like you can see here lol wild danda guys the user experience and ui experience user interface of this room is really smooth and we can add tiles like dark theme and location and there is no screen recording option available in this one also i have tried uh, the third party screen recorder with internal sound recording when we enabled internal sound recording we cannot hear from the speaker but internal sound recording works and guys about the sound output from the speaker and earphone is not too good it is just like CR Droid. if you have tried CR Droid, it is just like that if you want awesome experience for sound then you can install dd plus thank you guys please subscribe to my channel and like this video and ask in comments